Now that WatchOS 10 public beta is released, I've been seeing a lot of questions revolving around the maps because Topograph is now available, but it's not perfected due to the fact that after all, this is still is a beta. Now my device is on the developer beta, developer beta profile, but even the public beta is very similar. So to get Topograph to work, as you see me do, I'm literally just zooming in on a hilly green site here in California, and eventually the little altitude information will actually start appearing. That's basically how it works. Now for the full guide of my watchOS 10 video, I highly recommend watching that video right over there in the corner. I go through everything including the new features, hidden features, and some cool tips and tricks that you need to know so you get the most out of this so it doesn't drain your battery device a lot quicker. But that's topograph in a nutshell. So. As I was stating, this is still early on. So if you live like a place not in California, like, I don't know, Michigan or somewhere around here, if you zoom in on the green, it, nothing's gonna pop out. As I continue zooming in and it continues loading, you're gonna see there's nothing. But if I go somewhere in California where it's currently available, some national parks also is already available to be used on this. But if I go here like close to Reno, Truckee, and I continue zooming in, Topograph starts appearing. Topograph will only typically appear around the green area right here as you see. It's because if we go into like a dark portion and continue zooming in, from my understanding, it's not going to pop off. Maybe rarely in the near future, some areas are already scanned so they have the topograph information. But as of right now, it's only the green areas that I find topograph information to be available and only in California. And only in certain places, like right here, nothing's popping up. But large portions like here, if you zoom in, we see the squiggly lines right there. So if we go like in Oregon or something like that, Seattle, maybe right here near the twilight zones, keep zooming in, nothing will appear. So it's not yet available in Seattle, unfortunately, but in California majority of the green spots is where it's where it's compatible with topograph now offline modes it's really easy to offload maps on your apple watch as it does require you to actually go on your iphone first and then you need to launch the map app so by launching here tap on your profile right here it's going to be an offline section tap on here i already have a couple of maps downloaded where i can actually offload this for not just my iPhone, but also CarPlay will utilize this, as well as your Apple Watch. And to download like a new section of the map, you just tap download, enter the address or your current address. You're gonna get this black, wide, not black, uh, wide square. You can actually zoom out as far back as possible. It's gonna tell you the storage that's gonna take up if you download that certain section. And the most I see is about two gigs. Oh, three gigs now, four or five. You could do actually get a lot and that's the maps so about five gigabytes for like a good portion of california and you just simply tap download and then now you're always going to have those offline maps those offline maps available on your wrists a new tool that also got integrated for the map app is this circle radius where it'll actually show you the walking time it'll take you to walk from here to there as you keep zooming out it'll give you an estimate how long it will take you so long as you leave in a dead center location till about 23 minutes if we walk to i-80 which is crazy or 50 minutes going past so this is a nifty tool especially for hikers because of course you can always long press here on the power button to quickly access the compass backtracking capabilities and in here of course you can always tap right here to see a live view of the altitude in live time or tap here for the compass traditional compass waypoint animation I think it just glitched on me but we don't need this we're gonna end this but there are some point of interest on this so this is mount diablo i have actually been here a couple of times i'm pretty familiar with the trail but if you zoom in on here it actually will tell you like the distance on like certain hikes right here as you just see in the purple in addition to that and some of these trails if there's a public bathroom that's well known it will not only show you the point of like interest right here on the trails different trails you may want to follow it just doesn't let me interact with it i'm pretty sure apple will improve that in the future but 
it was point like show me like a bathroom icon here and I could actually tap on it and allow it, it to actually show me directions on my wrist. I'm trying to find a restroom here. I know there is one in Mount Diablo, but I digress. You get the idea. And then, of course, you can also switch between different methods of transportation because if we actually, because if we actually like long press on the map, you can actually switch from Explorer to Transport. So now it actually show us all the nearby transports that's available right here on our wrist. So we can see it all right here, as well as tap on it once you zoom in all the way on one of them. You can quickly tap to get access to the directions. Pretty advanced stuff. But in terms of topograph capabilities, that's basically it. I'm sure Apple's gonna add more features in the long run and also make it compatible in other places, not just here in this section of California. Think of this somewhat like how CarPlay used to be back in the day. But now we have this map offloaded. So of course, if I turn off cellular reception on my iPhone, I'm still able to load all this, but I already have cache in the memory storage, so it's not gonna work. I could try hard resetting it by long pressing on the power button and holding the digital crown. Now, if I launch the map app, it's gonna re reload and then my phone is cellular reception off. I don't have LTE installed on my Apple Watch. As you can see, it already has cache storage, so it saves most of these offline location as I was fiddling with the uh, topograph, but nothing is loading when you zoom all the way in, as you see. But if we go to those offline maps, we should be able to still see the topograph information or possibly not i guess this is still in the works in apple but this part was supposed to work because i know i have this section offline if we go in napa same story so yeah it's still is a work in progress that apple's working on this isn't going to work fluently right away but if i use directions and set directions to some type of waypoint this still requires the internet unfortunately and I know for a fact I have Sacramento installed. No results. So I, I guess it's still buggy. It's not going to work. You can still drop pins, but there's no way to actually like make that pin into like a walking guidance. You can just, so that's pretty unfortunate. But that's basically the loop when it comes to uh, how to use currently it, during its stage topograph let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions or any thoughts or opinions you'd like to share about the topograph information or a capability that we concurrently have if in case you are also on the beta aside from that thanks so much for watching again if you just recently installed watch OS 10 strongly recommend watching that end card video right there where i go through all the amazing features aside from that thanks so much for watching take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya